Okay, so um, there we are. Okay, so let's see who's here today. Uh, welcome, welcome to uh, Moodle for Teachers Evo for 2019. Uh, we started about, well, exactly eight years ago. That was our first uh, Moodle for Teachers Evo session in 2011. So um, you're welcome. Uh, and we're happy that you're here. If you could unmute your mic and maybe introduce yourselves, that would be great. Every time someone speaks, their um, video turns on. And if that does, oh, I see my, my audio is not working. That is not a good thing. So let me stop screen sharing for a moment so I can fix my audio because it's not working. Sorry about that. I just changed, um, it should work though. Okay, so I'm gonna get my audio working here. Okay, and output, okay, it should be working now. All right, so um, if you could uh, just let us know where you're from. And maybe introduce yourself, just grab the mic. And if you're shy, you can say hello in the uh, chat box. I'm going to be screen sharing. There we are. OK, so there is our uh, Moodle for Teachers Evo for 2019. Feel free to um, unmute your mic and say hello. I know you can hear Well, you can't hear me again. Hmm. Hello. Yes, Hi. I hear you. Hi. Hi, Sarah. Can you hear me? Can you hear? Yes, clearly, oh. great. Okay, because I don't hear see. Me okay? Yes, because I don't see my uh, the green going up and down for some reason. Uh -huh. so I wasn't sure. So welcome. So Zara, you're from. You. I'm from Iran, Tehran, and now it's evening around. 8 30 in the evening a very nice rainy night rainy yes. night is nice greeting. <laughs> yeah greeting from iran yeah. uh, for a run it's nice okay uh, thank you so you enjoy okay and people are coming in as we go so um, i see that there are 10 people online including myself so that's nine so i guess not everybody's here maybe they haven't made it yet and I see for some reason there are two. I see why. One is the Wiz IQ, so they might be confused. I'm going to fix that. You'll see how I fix it. I'm going to return to my role. And I'm going to delete the Wiz IQ class because maybe some people are trying to go in there. And for some reason, the Wiz IQ is not working. I can show you how it's. Oh, it is working now. Wasn't working before. So let me delete that. Hi, everyone. Hi. Is that Eva? That's Nagla. Oh, OK. I didn't see the photo. OK, so let me just uh, go back here and get rid of the WizIQ so people don't get confused. Apparently, WizIQ stopped working. Uh, it keeps going back and forth. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. So we're going to be using Zoom whenever we don't have WizIQ. So let me just delete this so you don't get confused there. It worked a few hours ago, but now it doesn't. So, OK, so we're on Zoom now. And everybody, let's see, get this fixed. Okay, there we go. All right, that should help people uh, get into this room. Okay, we started the recording, but I'm, I think I'm going to edit it later on. Okay, so are there any questions before we get started? Feel free to, I see that Nagla has unmuted her mic. And Viviana, um, we'd love to hear from you. So I see your mic is unmuted. Uh, can you tell us where you're from, coming from? 
Sorry. I see Siri wants to be part of the game too. <laughs> she just she just respond. I mean, she was just responding to me, but I wasn't talking to her. <laughs> so I see. Let's see. Um, so Ella, I see Ella's here too. Hi, Ella. And Sophia's here. And Esther is here. And Malika. Are you shy? You rig is here. Elena. Uh, did I miss anyone? Feel free to grab a mic. Say hello. Hello to everyone from Esther. Hi, Esther. How are you? Fine, thanks. That's great. Okay, now I can see who's talking too. So if you have a, uh, a webcam open, and whenever you speak, we'll see your, um, your camera, your video. I'm a little camera shy, at least for the first webinar. So. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Your, your audio sounds great. Where are you Perfect. coming to us from? I'm uh, here in uh, Markham um, or Toronto, Canada. Oh, great. Yeah, and I'm originally from Egypt. Okay, that's great. So we've got a Canadian from Egypt. <laughs> right? Uh, okay, so let's see who... Um, feel free to grab the mic, say hello. If you're camera shy, then you don't have to show your camera. You can um, mute it or put an X over it. If you just click on it, it stops the video. Okay, you're gonna be creating, you're gonna be speaking a lot. You don't have to, uh, if your camera shy and so on, you don't have to uh, show your, um, your camera, your video, but you're going to be screen sharing because this is what Moodle for Teachers is about. So let's get started. Um, I wanna show you, let me just go back to being, uh, I'm gonna switch my role. This is something you're gonna do. Um, in Moodle for Teachers, you start off as the um, as a student in week one. In week two, you'll uh, get rights as a teacher, so you'll see editing all over uh, the Moodle course in the Moodle in the teacher practice area. And then in week three, you'll be managers of a Moodle course where you get more rights, and you'll be able to. Uh, add blocks and different things. Blocks are what's on the right and what's on the left. So let me start with what a Moodle looks like. If you could add in the chat box if you've had experience with Moodle or you can grab, uh, unmute your mic at any time and ask questions or add comments or feel free to, um, this is not a formal uh, live session. It's actually very informal. So feel free to, um, Take part, feel comfortable, and uh, try things out. And that's what it's about, really. So let me grab the uh, annotation here. And uh, you can do the same. You can also grab annotate. If you look at um, the bottom or the top of your screen of the Zoom, you'll see annotate. If you click on it, you'll be able to also write on the screen. So you might want to try this out. There, I'm gonna write uh, with red. So Moodle has three parts. There's the middle right here. There's the right and the left. You will be practicing the right and left. They're called blocks. You'll be practicing the blocks in week three. In week one, as I said, you're just um, a student and you'll be following as a student. In week two, you'll become a teacher. So let's start with week one and um, what you need to know. As I said, feel free to grab any tools uh, on this Zoom platform and write on the screen. You can do that. Eva, you wanna try it. Zara, you wanna try it. Feel free uh, to do it. Yurig, hi. I just saw it your name. All right, so we're in the middle. Notice what's in the middle. Um, this area is called a menu. I don't know if you're familiar with the menu, but it's a menu. And the menu has 
is divided into sections. So these are called sections. Let me get another drawing tool here um, so I can show you. Okay, so these are called sections. And notice some sections are hidden and some are not hidden. The ones are hidden, not to confuse you. We can do that on the Moodle. In the Moodle course, you can hide different things by date or, and they open up at the date, or you can just hide them with manually without a date. So here we are. So let's go back here and let me show you. Uh, there's an overview here. You can read that. And as I said, feel free to click away anywhere at any time. As a student, you can click anywhere. Usually the blue parts are clickable. So feel free to click. You can't damage anything. You can't harm anything. So the more you do, the more you will learn. So feel free to explore and learn because that's how this uh, session works. You'll be exploring, documenting, asking questions, sharing, connecting with other participants, and then you'll be creating in your final week, two weeks, you'll be creating your own collaborative course. That means that you'll create a course of your own, but you'll have other teachers with you. So it's a collaborative process. You'll be teaming up, starting, week uh, two. In the middle is about the moderators, and then there's a teacher's lounge. There's the YouTube playlist. All these um, live online sessions are recorded, so you get a chance to view the recordings on YouTube. If you don't get YouTube, we can also share it on Vimeo. Just let me know if you don't get YouTube. So let's go through it. The, um, the moderators. There are a few moderators. Some of them are here. So that's me, Nelly, Harshita. I don't know if Harshita is here today. Harshita, if you're here, say hello. Uh, there's e Eva, who's here. Eva, you want to introduce yourself? Hello, Nelly. Hi, everyone. Uh, hi. We'd love to see you too if you've got your camera open. So the participant can see someone lovelier than myself. <laughs> hey. There we are. There's a lovely Eva. A little longer. Yes. So Eva, where are you coming to us from? Um, from Poland. I live in Tri City next to the sea. And what are you doing these days? So she's not a doctor, but she's getting her PhD and she works with doctors. Am I correct or with, um, yeah. right. Okay, so uh, that's Eva and we've got Zara. You've already seen Zara. Zara, do you want to say hello once again so everyone can see you? Uh, yes, hello everyone. One more time, I'm Zahra and uh, I like uh, what well, I'm doing my PhD but in TEFL teaching English as a foreign language and at the moment I teach English, yeah. High school and I'm university. just so glad to be here. Yes. Okay. I no. I asked if you teach. Um, what age groups do you teach? You teach university, high school, um, uh, younger. Yes, I teach university students general courses and EAP uh, courses, English as an uh, academic language at universities. But uh, previously, I used to teach high school students too. At the moment, just university students. That's what I remembered from the past. <laughs> so I was right. Okay. And, uh, and then there's the teacher's lounge. Okay. Uh, this is a place I'm clicking on the teacher's lounge. Uh, you, there's a live chat here. You might want to try it. It's um, using your voice. And then there's, as I said, our YouTube uh, playlist. Okay, that's our playlist and all the recordings will be available here. You'll be able to see them. Our weekly live classes, notice some of these will change. Uh, we're gonna change from, um, I think, from WizIQ to Zoom because uh, WizIQ has been uh, acting up. 
and then you get rewarded. And I'll show you how you can be rewarded. Um, these are the badges. I think these are the badges. Where am I? Uh, the weekly badges. Uh, you'll find out more about uh, these from uh, the video there. But I'll show you that in a minute too, how you can see your badges, weekly badges. Uh, the user badges, they're here on uh, the left. Okay, there's something wrong here. I'm screen sharing, so it's taking quite a bit of bandwidth. Okay, I'll go in as a teacher in a minute and I'll show you um, the badges. Maybe I should do that now. Hi there. Oh, we saw someone. Um, my screen seems to be stuck. Let me see if I can unstuck it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop screen sharing for a minute. Maybe I can. Okay, it moved. Okay, I'm going to make go back to my normal role so I can show you the badges. Okay, the badges are um, over here. Let me show you. You'll be able to learn about this too. I'm in as a teacher now, and as a teacher, I have more rights so I can show you. Um, you know, wow, it's slow. Okay, here are the badges. Okay, so there are, um, you can see five badges, and these are the requirements for each badge. I see that um, five of you already have badges, which is great. Badge for week two, and these are the tasks for week two, week three, four, and five. And let's see who has badges. Wow, that's exciting. That means you did your work. So we've got Victoria, Nagala, Zara, and you've got a badge. Natasha and Diego have badges, so congratulations for getting the badges. If you have questions, feel free to ask them. Notice turn editing on. You'll be able to see the same thing in week two. Next week, you'll be able to turn on the editing and start doing um, the kind of work that uh, the moderators do. Okay, what you need to learn is how to create videos. And generally, uh, Moodle for Teachers participants have no problems with that. Uh, there's an explanation here on how to do it and how to add to YouTube. Wow, uh, it's going slow here because of the videos. Okay, so go through that and learn how to do it. You're going to be doing it using Screencast-O-Matic. Now, Screencast-O-Matic is completely free but I can add you to mine and then you can have more, uh, more features like the writing tools because the free doesn't have the writing tools. So you'll be able to join my um, Screencast-O-Matic and be able to write. Okay, so let's go into um, week one. Okay, week one, most of you have started already. Okay, so in week one, there's a video introducing week one. Uh, an introduction here, and you've seen this before. And notice over here, um, let me take you on the boxes. Okay, these boxes mean something. Okay, the boxes. Notice it's a dotted box. Now, what's a dotted box? A dotted box means that you need to uh, start a discussion and respond to one other person. Because the Moodle is very, very collaborative and allows uh, the students, the participants to work together, you're going to learn how to do it as a student and before you create your own course. So let's take a look at how you start. If I go to profile, for example, I'm gonna click on it. Okay, click on profile. And the box will be dotted and that's how you get your, um, there we go. That's how you get your badge. Once all the dotted boxes are ticked off, automatically by Moodle, I don't do anything. I don't do any ticking. Moodle does it automatically because Moodle has an amazing tracking system. And you'll learn that through Moodle, you get a lot of information about your students too. And you know exactly what they're doing. 
and how they're managing. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to um, add a new discussion topic. So that's how you start. Once you do that, let me get rid of this. Uh, you click on it. Wait a few seconds, depending on your connection. Moodle is usually very fast, and this Moodle is fast too. So you need to add to the subject line. Notice that the red means it's a requirement. And if you hover your mouse over it, you get all the explanations. In other words, I'll show you how you don't need to remember anything. Moodle is very intuitive. And if you forget something, every question mark gives you information. So if you hover your mouse, it says required field required field. So that means you need to write something. So I'm going to write tests. I hope you don't write tests. And then here I'm going to write tests. Now what I want to show you is the editor. Notice now it's one row. You're going to click on this area right here. Okay, this uh, arrow pointing down. And when you do that, notice what happens. Let's do it. You get two rows. Now on your computer, you may get three rows, but you're gonna have everything that's here. Now notice there are a lot of features here, including lots of uh, recording icons. This is a recorder, that's a video recorder. And then there's another one, and I think one of you asked me, why are there two? Well, because the top one is for free. It comes with a Moodle, and, but it only works with Chrome. It doesn't work with Safari. And the bottom one is called Poodle, and Poodle does, does cost money if you're interested. Uh, it was created by an English language teacher, originally from New Zealand, Justin Hunt, who has been living over, I guess, almost 30 years in Japan. And he's actually a computer programmer and um, a Moodle developer. But he worked as an English teacher because uh, that's how he had to make a living. But now he's back to developing and he's not teaching anymore he has a business so what you have here a lot of features notice uh, okay these are uh, different font colors and then the backgrounds the size okay over here you've got different headings you can try all of these out and i recommend that you try it out don't be afraid and then there is uh, images you can add an image now if you're going to add an image notice it's not necessary to put the description. If you want to, you may. Let's see if I caused a mess here. Yes, I did. Um, and I'm gonna have a hard time getting out of this because I'm screen sharing. Screen sharing is really a problem. Uh, okay, so let's just add something. Let's go into the uh, browse. Okay, notice what you have here. You've got Google Drive. So if you have Google Drive, you can go into your Google Drive and get images from there. You have Dropbox. You can get information, whatever you have, files in your Dropbox, Wikimedia, Flickr. If you've got a Flickr, I'm going to go into recent files. Okay, so then you can choose some of these recent files. I like this one, so I'm going to choose this one. And notice here, you have to either add a description or just say it's not necessary, and then you click on it, and there it is. Okay, there's the word test. Okay, let me get rid of that. Test, and there it is. Now I can add a recording too if I go into uh, this or the other one. Try them both, start recording. So, hi, this is Nelly, and I'm recording, and you can see the timer going. And then you attach the recording. You can do it again, of course. You can try it. There it is. Okay. It's that fast. Okay. Everything is really fast on the Moodle. You can also go to the video, but I like Poodle. So take a look at Poodle. It's a bit different. There it is. There's the recorder. We also have Read Aloud, which is really exciting, on, which is part of Poodle. So I'm recording. You can see the timer going. I'm going to stop, play it. I don't know if you heard that. And then notice about the upload. I want you to pay attention to this. It says 100, but you wait until it says uploaded successfully, so be patient. And then you insert, and there it is. Okay, it looks like that. You'll see in a minute. What else can I do? I can add video, okay? So uh, let's add a video in both. 
I think that with poodle, you can make them longer. And with, um, with the top one, it's shorter. So there it is, play it. Okay, and then you can upload it. Notice if you upload 100%, wait till it says successfully. Moodle is really exciting. There's so much to Moodle, it's a whole world. Uh, upload successfully, and there I've added it, MP4. What else can I add? Oh, I can add my photo. So let's add my photo. You can add your photo straight. This is great for students, by the way, because students can add their photo directly. So, or they can add their background, whatever they want to add. And Moodle also has, it's on your phone. So you can use my students. Um, I, my students use Moodle from uh, the age of 12. The age of 12, I teach junior high and they use their phones. They like their phones. So they use uh, Moodle on their form and their phones insert. So where's our photo? Did I miss something? It looks like I missed it. Okay, so there's the photo. Let's try it again. Take a picture. Okay, that wasn't a very good one, but that's okay. Successfully uploaded, upload successfully, wait. There it is. Okay, so there's my photo. Terrible, let me take get rid of that. And um, what else do we have here? We have stopwatches, Poodle calculator, YouTube. I don't know if this works or not. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So when I finish everything, whatever I wanna do, I send to forum. Okay, right here. Send to forum. Wait a few seconds. And there it is. Now you've got 30 minutes to make changes. There we go. And let's see what we have here. Oh, so we've got this, the photo. Everything is here. Plus we've got the calculator. So how much is seven times um, eight? Seven. Um, where's the time? There's no time here. Okay, seven plus, oh, here's the time. Uh, times six um, plus eight equals plus, I don't know. It works somehow. Um, that's how you calculate. So you can play around with that. Okay, that's the calculator. I don't know why you would need that. But um, if you're interested in that, if you don't teach English as a foreign language, then that will be fine with you. Okay, so then how do you reply? You reply here. Okay, there's the reply. You can still edit. You can delete it if you don't like it. I'm gonna delete it because I don't like it. I just wanted to show you um, the play around. Now, the only thing is when you play around, you are going to document what you do through videos. So whatever you do, you open your Screencast-O-Matic and you speak and you present your exploration because that's how you're going to learn. You're going to learn to Moodle by exploring and uh, sharing screencasting as you go just like i'm doing right now i'm screencasting and i'm showing you different things so that's exactly what you're going to be doing but you're not going to do it through zoom because zoom is really slow for this you're going to do it through screencast-o-matic okay and everything about screencast-o-matic is right uh, here create video tutorials we call them video tutorials and I think that's about it. So now let's uh, hear from you. Do you have any questions or comments or anything? I'm going to stop screen sharing. There we are. Now you can see everybody. Okay, so there we are. That's the whole um, group. There are only 18 of us. Uh, in the other session, we had over 40. So it was interesting, we had a few pages of um, the participants. So I see most of you are camera shy, but you can put a photo like M Mikhail has put a Sm Smirnov. I have a girlfriend who's called uh, Ludmila Smirnova. And I heard that in, in Russia, men have Smirnov and women's last name has the A ah at the end, which I find very, very interesting. So there, Great, so we've got Viviana, we see you, and Esther, we see you. But if you wanna put your image, 
like Mikael said, said, did, that's really nice because in that case, we see something, not just a black. Hi there, Helen, good to see you. But we only see, we need to see the rest of you. We only kind of see the top of your head. And um, I tried to use the camera, but I, I ah, didn't. There. Now we see you. Now we see you better. Yeah, it's much better. And we've got your rig. So where are you from, Viviana? I see you're busy writing, but you can speak too, or maybe not. So if you could open your camera, Harshita is here too. Harshita, I think I didn't add your name there. I don't recall reading it. I will add it if I miss that. Hello there. Uh, what is your name? Because I don't read, I don't know, was that uh, Russian? Hi, Sophia. Good to see you. Feel free to um, open your cameras so we get a chance to uh, see you. In any case, um, you're going to have to add a picture to your profile as you learn about the profile. There we are. Hello, Ella. Good to see you. How are you? You have to unmute your mic so we can hear you. No, your mic needs to be unmuted. At the bottom, there's. Um, a microphone that's it now it's good so hi yeah it is it's good to have you great and uh let's see i, I can't read your name i'm sorry um i think it's russian writing unless it's yes you, you're nodding so can you unmute your mic so we can hear you? Yeah, and Sophia. Hi, my, how do you pronounce your oh, name? My name is Natalia. Ah, Natalia. Natalia. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I would never have guessed. Natalia. Yes, okay. I'm from Russia. Yes. Okay. And Sophia, you can unmute your mic. Where are you from? And Yuri and... Um, Elena, I see you're here too. You can unmute your mic and tell us where you're from. Don't be shy. Hello. Hi. Hello, hello. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know who's talking right now. I don't see who's talking. Is that you, Viviana? No. Okay, you'll get used to it. Um, those of you that are camera shy or audio shy, you'll get used to it. I remember the, I remember the, the first time, the first time that I spoke, first of all, I didn't turn my camera on. I was very shy. Uh, this was, I had uh, problem with my camera. Can you that? hear me? Yes. Um, I'm Esther. Can you hear I, me? Yeah, and we see you too, Esther. We see ah, I, ah, can you see me? Yes, yes. yes ah, can. But be, because I can't see myself, so I totally... <laughs> okay. We, we see. Yeah, yeah. Where, where are you from, Esther? I'm from Italy. I live in the south of Italy, near Palinuro. And how's Do the weather? Know? No, I'm not... Ah, familiar, it's cold. Too cold oh. for me. Yeah, okay. I believe that. Okay, and who else? Thank you. Can you unmute your mic? Mute your mic. And Yuri, where are you from? Hello, I'm from Colombia. Nice. I'm from Colombia. And how's the weather there? Is it also cold? I don't no, know. no, no. It's warm. Yeah. <laughs> it's very warm. It's That's very nice. Warm. Give us, give us some of your warmth, and we'll give you some of our cold. You know, would you like some snow? I can. Get some snow. Yeah. And <laughs> now here is very trap the tropics. So yeah. yeah, few rain and it's very warm. It's been very warm lately. It's hard to imagine it being warm. It's so cold. How's it? How's it there in uh, Poland, Eva? Well, no snow right now. It was snow. Ah, the no other snow. Day. That's 
uh, the other day it snowed. All right, um, Helen, Helen, I'll just tell you, Helen uh, is also uh, one of the, she doesn't want to call herself moderator yet, but uh, she's going to help out too. Helen, if you want to be officially a moderator, I'll add your name as well, but if not, you can just help in the background. Uh, Helen, can you tell us a little bit about where you are? Uh, yes, hello everyone. So nice to see new participants and my old friends from previous um, sessions. And uh, hi Eva, hi Zara. Ah, oh, so happy to see Dr. Nelly. Yes, I am very happy that I come back. I was a little bit busy. And uh, yes, I teach uh, English as a second language. Uh, and um, uh, in Australia, I am from Russia. I teach, um, uh, I used to teach mathematics, information technology and other science subjects. Yes, and uh, I'm so happy to be uh, in the um, Moodle for Teachers, Dr. Nelly website, because each time, even I uh, repeated a couple of times different sessions, uh, the same, uh, same courses, I learn all the time something uh, new, and uh, I am um, um, using Moodle for many years, but uh, anyway, you have to learn all the time. I totally agree. I also learn because Moodle changes. Um, there are always new developments on Moodle. So there's always something to learn actually. So it's a good idea, even if you're using Moodle, uh, to see what's new in Moodle. And I try to add all the new plugins uh, to Moodle for teachers. So you get a chance to play with, uh, with the tool. And we've got Harshita. Hello. Hello, Dr. <laughs> Nelly. Um, it's a pleasure to be here and uh, I really have to thank you for everything. I have learned so much on uh, Moodle for Teachers. I have been learning for the past uh, couple of years now. Every time I attend your sessions, I'm learning something new, even though they are the sessions that you know I, I have gone through, but every time it is a new experience. Yeah, collaborating with uh, new uh, course mates. It's an amazing experience. And of course, I always look forward to learning with you. That's sweet. Yeah, that's, that's how it is. Um, you know, we all uh, learn together and there's always, uh, you're right, there's always something new. I also learn something new every time because it's like the classroom, you know, every time we walk into a new classroom, it's always something different because the students are different. Um, you know, even though you're teaching the same thing, it's always different. So <laughs> that's, what, that's what's wonderful about teaching, that it's uh, learning different things. Elena, hello, have you been on the Moodle before? Uh, you have to meet for Mike. Hi, hi. Yeah, I have never used Moodle, Moodle before and I'm looking forward uh, to learn something new and um, I'm really happy to see so many uh, excited teachers that they inspired to learn something new and um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm actually from Russia, from Siberia and it's very hot today, just minus 25. So if anybody wants to visit uh, Russia, you're welcome. <laughs> I think uh, Yuri might want to do that from Colombia. If you invite Yuri, she might want to come. She's, <laughs> she's, she's drinking water all the time just to cool off. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to warm up and she's trying to cool off. So it's nice. It's nice to have participants. We've got Australia. We've got South America, Europe, uh, North America. Um, and I think the Far East are probably asleep now. Um, I think Helen doesn't go to sleep. She stays up 24 hours. <laughs> Sometimes I think that you don't sleep at all. That's what people say about me, but I think Helen, you're probably uh, more so than I. Uh, yeah, I used to sleep many, not many hours, a couple of hours, but you know, you know what is, um, I teach without Moodle at work and uh, I do design my courses 
because my institution don't use Moodle, don't you allow use computers for teaching still. And uh, I, can, I just can't stop uh, learning about Moodle and I'm so happy that I am here and yeah, to learn together. That's great. So if there aren't any questions, um, this is being recorded, of course, and you'll get a chance to see the recording. It's also going to appear on uh, the playlist that I showed you before. And uh, good night to some of you. I guess uh, maybe good morning to others. And we'll see you on the Moodle. So um, happy Moodling, everyone. Bye.